welcome back to Fitness with Emily. I'm just joking guys. Relax, relax, relax. Hello family, welcome back to another UCT race tour. So today we will be doing my domain in observatory. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily and I'm here to provide you with informative videos of the UCT residences. Thank you so much for all of you who have been supporting me and commenting and subscribing. And for those of you who want to see more, please subscribe. Guys, before I start, can I please just complain about the fact that load shedding is killing my YouTube career? Like, you're killing it, fam. You're killing it. If people don't have power, if people don't have Wi-Fi, how are people supposed to watch me? I couldn't even iron my shirt today because there was no power. Please, my guy, stop it. In today's video, I will be giving you an inclusive tour of the beautiful, beautiful My Domain in Ops. And guys, when I say that it's beautiful, like it's so beautiful that it has a swimming pool, an outdoor gym, and a five-a-side football pitch, guys. And as a big football fan and a Chelsea supporter, Why lie? I was so what? Why lie? Name three players then. What do you mean? Name three players then. No. Anyways, my domain is a self-catering race which you can get placed in through the UCT housing system but when I was there I also met someone who was from AFTA now if you're going to study at AFTA I think my domain will be a really good place or student accommodation for you if you're looking for something modern because you can apply to be in my domain on their website and they have listed their prices and stuff so now on their website they have different options for their rooms but then when i did visit a few they all more or less look the same and the students themselves don't know the difference yeah and the double room there's only one double room on each floor for the hour that i was there i met three uct students and they were all studying medicine so that was quite interesting for me guys please can i make something very clear as well okay if you're watching this video and maybe you've watched the ross common one okay do not expect all the UCT reses to look as common as these two, okay? This is not meant as shade, but your Baxter Hall, your Copano, your Leo Marquard, your Tagwell, they are not as cute as these ones on the inside. They are old, they have like history, you know what I mean? Like when you move in, you're moving in for the culture, not for the soft modern grey wall life. OMG guys, sorry, the power's back. <clears throat> Anyways guys, please enjoy today's video and like and comment and subscribe if you do. And also, who's this person that keeps on disliking my video? Thanks. If you don't like my content, just say do not recommend this channel to me. Why are you going to dislike my videos? Please, brother, please. Here's a map showing the distance between my domain and Op Square, which is the closest Yami stop. So now it says that it takes 13 minutes to walk and personally I wouldn't. However, if you go on their website, you'll see that there is a shuttle schedule. This means that my domain actually has a little quantum that takes you to Op Square so that you can catch the Rochester Jammy to go to school or the Health Science Faculty Jammy. Bonus, they also take you to the other schools like, you know, your Vega, your Triple A, your Red and Yellow, which is like further into like Cape Town CBD, Long Street area vibes. And I think that's really cool and it will save you a lot of money on transport. As soon as you walk in, my domain is giving like modern, okay? And the receptionist was very nice as well. You can sign up to three people at my domain, which is not very common at UCT races. And then guys, I was so shocked about this whole face ID, face scanning thing, babes. They have the fingerprint and the face ID. This is like better than the new IOAs, guys. So we went to the top floor to go to the rooftop. You can't go to the rooftop by elevator, only by stairs. So we were on the seventh floor and I just wanted to show you guys what the courtyard, you know, middle looked like. Very nice. So over there you can see that's the railway line and guys that's the mountain and guys if there's one thing about people who go to uct is that they are obsessed with the mountain and so am i guys it's like every single chance that you get it's like oh my gosh guys views oh my gosh guys lions head signal hill sunset
And then this rooftop swimming pool is just giving soft life. And also, if you don't know how to swim, you know, come to my domain and learn how to swim. Here's the outdoor gym, you know. So there's an indoor gym as well, but this is the outside one, you know. And I can see that this football pitch can also be turned into a basketball court. So they try to give themes to every single floor, two to tango, Japan, and then on the fourth floor they have for you, and the theme is Morocco, which is I think quite homey and quite cute of them. There's one microwave that's available on every floor because they don't provide microwaves for you to have in your room. And now we're on our way to the study room. So these study rooms are available on every floor. It is quite small, but it's also quite intimate. I like the fact that there is like, you know, a door for you so that you can have your little group discussions. My domain does not have a computer lab, but there is a bigger study room on the third floor. This is the biggest study room at my domain, and this is the only big one. There are like five or six of the smaller ones, and usually it's not full, but during exams, it gets really, really packed. At my domain, no one uses a key to unlock, you know, it's all about the touch ID, Einch, you know, fingerprint vibes, biometrics vibes. This is Andiswa, she's doing second year medicine at UCT. And this is a room. So the bad thing about her room is that they don't give you a bedside table to put your phone on when you charge, which sucks. And this is the view of the mountain once again. Guys, you know me and the mountain. I'm obsessed. And there's a spaza shop right downstairs. It's great views, great lighting. I really like it. When I got into a room, I was like, oh my gosh, I did not expect your room to look this nice. There's even a TV, guys. Everyone gets a TV in their room. So everyone's rooms look more or less like this. Some are smaller. So some are not as spacious between like the bed and the table. But you have to cook in your room. So everyone is basically a studio. They provide you with this little single stove Medea situation, but they don't give you a microwave. And they don't give you a kettle either. They do give you a fridge though. What I don't like about these cupboards is that they don't have doors. And so your food is also laying there in the open. So your clothes, you know, oaks are looking at your groceries and be like, oh guys, I'm hungry. I want those cocoa pops. And I just don't like that. Here's the shower. The shower also gives like really, really clean vibes, you know. Now we are back on the ground floor and these two telephone booths are there so that you can use it to make free phone calls. So your calls have to be 10 minutes if other people are waiting in line. Otherwise, you, know, you can use it for as long as you want. Then the gym. Just rewind and pause to see the notice. But the paper basically says that your visitors are not allowed to use the gym only you are so if you stay at my domain you can use the gym but your visitors are not allowed to and at my domain you can sign up to three guests at one time which is very different to other reses then this is like a bar area it has a microwave and a kettle i feel like it has a lot of potential to be like a guys it looks like a bar but it's not being used properly and this is the study room Apparently the Wi-Fi here is also very, very bad because they're not using EduRoam. Guys, EduRoam is really the plug, plug, plug. Like, EduRoam is fast. And yeah, these are Ottomans that you can sit on. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, there is a little cafeteria slash tuck shop. It's very cute and we'll come back to it later. Then these are also cute boots, which you can see on their website, by the way. Like these pictures you can see on their website. So now we're in the parking lot. There is quite a bit of space for cars, but I guess not a lot of people have cars. And now we're on our way to the laundry room. So there's also a parking over here for bicycles. And here's the trash room. I'll come back to that later. And yeah. Walk, walk, walk. So here's 
with the laundry room pause to read the notice but it basically says that you have to pay 15 rand every time you do your laundry so this means that you switch on the washing machine it's 15 rand you switch on the tumble dryer it's 15 rand and this is very inconvenient and now you have to save up all your laundry so that you can do it when you have money this is just andiswa showing us how you put three five rands into the washing machine but now imagine you're choosing between doing your laundry or buying groceries come on guys this is the dustbin room it smells so bad in here this is the only place where you can throw away your trash but there is a bathroom outside where you can wash your hands i decided to come back to you know the tuck shop to spoil myself but the things were kind of expensive for like a student accommodation come on guys we don't have money anyways so they also have a dinner option where you pay 75 rand for a meal so here's a picture of their menu but basically you get a discount at the bottom so like if you buy 10 meals in a row in a month then you get like 65 rand per meal instead of 75 rand and you can book in advance and stuff and these are the different type of meal options here's to middle bring my cheesy chicken strips and chips if you're still watching at this point thank you so much and you know when i'm rich and famous i'll do like giveaways and you know all those cute things that famous youtubers do love you